Hello everybody, welcome to the weekly teacher update. Today is Tuesday, February 19th, 2019. Hopefully you guys had a great time with the Lantern Festival, either with your students or your family, and a great Valentine's. Um, okay, so the first thing we're going to discuss today is the Bookings Booster. It's the last session, so if you've been a part of that, you know it's been on your app, and you just um, you can reveal if you've won them for those specific slots, and um, it encourages parents to book you because then they get gems for their students. And so um, make sure to join in. I have the link below if you'd like to learn more about that. Um, next, um, there is new referral resources, which is really exciting. So if you go to the Referral Center, I have the link below. Um, you can see all the resources that you need to help those new teachers. There's a referral kit. There's a brand folder that you can get access to, which has all the new, um, their new brand information, flyers, and things like that, and it looks amazing. So um, if you uh, also missed the What's New with Referrals webinar, I have the link below to that so you can learn about that. Next, there is going to be in another webinar, and this is going to be about error correction, which is going to be pretty cool. And so this is... Um, March 4th at 6 p.m. Eastern Time with Dr. Nikki Ashcraft. Um, she is an associate teaching professor um, with TESOL through the University of Missouri. And so it's going to be pretty uh, interesting. She's going to share tips and considerations for correcting language learners and exclusive in this uh, webinar. Webinar. <laughs> Um, of course, you can also get CE credits, um, uh, professional development hours, if you are trying to get those for your license. Um, you can sign up for the webinar. I have the link below. Um, and uh, yeah. <laughs> Next, if you haven't seen it yet, oh, sorry, Eric. There's Eric. <laughs> he made a fantastic video about soft cancellations. Now, nothing has changed with soft cancellations, but he just kind of put it in an easy to digest format. And so I have the link below to this informal, informational video. I'm having a hard time today, guys. Sorry. Um, so soft cancellations, there it is. Next, um, the library update. They are doing a whole error correction series. And so um, it's starting, of course, there's that webinar, but um, there's a whole nother series as well. Um, so I'm going to put that link below. Also, don't forget there's downloadable flashcards, community tools, and so much more in the library. So make sure to go check that out. Of course, it's in your portal. Next, um, there's an updated stats page that will be launching. And so on February 21st, they will be launching this um, for all teachers. You could have been part of the testing, and so you already know what it looks like. But um, the uh, goal of this update is to help teachers better understand their activity and provide more relevant teaching data. So you'll be able to see your teacher no-shows and teacher cancellation uh, reasons. Uh, not you, the parents, sorry. <laughs> so they'll be able to see why um, you weren't able to be there. Um, and then uh, they won't see your specific reasons, but they'll see like a categorized tag that matches your reason. So that's to help protect your privacy, but it helps parents understand why. So they can see like whether you just slept in or whether it was an emergency or something. So that's kind of nice. So it's just to create a better communication between teachers and parents. Um, and they said there's no easy way for a teacher to explain to a parent why class was missed, but they hope that this will help with some of that. Um, and so um, you will be able to have an opt out or select another reason. So um, if you prefer to have it be generic like that, you can. For more information, have the link below. Next, raffle winners. Um, I have the link below for who won. Um, next, Lingo Bus. Um, they still have their Chinese New Year lottery. There's so much going on over there. Um, so head on over, um, see all the posts. Um, the lottery has been extended to the 22nd, so you could win up to $50. So make sure that you're checking that out. It's pretty exciting. Next, um, if you want to be a VAP Kid community ambassador, they've got 20 spots. And so um, what this is, is you will be, they're looking for teachers who will share their tips and ideas um, in the, the community and uh, to be moderators. So you'll flag escalating issues or trending topics for VAP Kid to investigate. You contribute to the weekly updates, trending topics, content. And then there's also, you have the ability to send postcards or dinos to members who you feel like deserve it. 
So it's pretty exciting. So if this sounds interesting, I have the link below. And at the end of March, they'll announce the new 20 community ambassadors. Next, um, the last week of Chinese New Year hutong activities. So if you've been a part of that, they've had things every day, which have been exciting. Um, one of which is the t-shirt. They said, we need to stop teaching and just have a t-shirt uh, store because they were saying how awesome the teachers were in their designs, which they were. I've loved them so far. So they said, make sure to vote for that. Um, you have until February 22nd, and then um, they'll announce it after that. Of course, the Think Tank, um, part two, helping teachers. Make sure to share yours. The top three pitches are awarded a $100 Amazon gift card. So make sure to think about what could really help those teachers. Next, free pig dinos. So your last chance to win the free pig dinos for the Friday scavenger hunt is going to be this Friday. So try and do that. Next, the trending topics. Reports of student no-shows removed and or replaced from my bookings page. What is the new short notice booking function? So if you would like to see those, head on over to the Hutong. Have the link below. And then here is some of the pictures from the meetup. So they had that awesome one in Disneyland. And then, of course, there were all these other ones around the country, which were so exciting. So you can see here are the meetups that are coming up. So even Spain and South Africa, so exciting. So head on over to the events page, have the link below. If you'd like to host a meetup, I have that link below as well. Um, of course, if you want to comment on the update, head over to the Hutong, join the discussion. You guys are wonderful. Have the best week ever. Bye.